Welcome back to the JSG channel. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to program the RDL coin meter. This is in particular the one pound and two pound coin meter, and also how to read the display. One thing that you may want to have to hand is your rate per unit and your standing charge, so you can set this on the meter. In the UK, it's illegal to make profit on electricity, so it's important that you set your rate per unit and standing charge as per what your energy provider is charging you. Um, the, this information can be found on the back of an electricity bill, so it should say rate per unit in pence and standing charge, which is a, a charge, daily standing charge, comes off the meter once a day. So you want to set that exactly to how you're being charged so that you're not losing out on any money. But at the same time, you don't want to set it to any more because that will be illegal. So here we have the RDL meter, we've got it wired up. Um, we've just got a live and a neutral in there just to power the meter up. So um, at the moment, this RDL, as you can see, is showing 0 0.1 kilowatt hours. Um, I believe that's just for testing purposes. Um, it's on rate one at the moment and it's got zero credit in it. I'm gonna show you how to program it on this occasion. So you've got a coin tray here, which you'd usually have a padlock through. I'm gonna take that out. And then you're gonna get like a, a little pin. Um, we're using a screwdriver to press this button in here, left, left hand side button. And then you can see it goes to programming. So once you have programming, you just need to press the red button once to take you onto the programming. And then you're gonna use the red button to move along to the next um, either digit or next option. And you're gonna use the green button to change that option. And then you're gonna use the red button, pressing and holding for three seconds to basically lock that option in and save it. All right, it's just gone off the program now because we took too long. So let's just press that again. So for example, we're gonna press and hold to move on to the next hand for three seconds. Let go, it says set, zero credit. So we'll leave it on no for now because we don't want a zero credit. There's no credit on there anyway. Press and hold for three seconds. Credit and emergency credit not zeroed. Set credit, so you could actually set a credit amount on there if you wanted to give them a credit amount to start off with. For example, if you have new tenants moving in, you could put five pound of electricity on their meter so that they're so that when they move in, they've got a little bit of electric just to get them going. Um, emergency credit, so this is if you wanna set an emergency credit on the meter, it's, it's set as default to one pound. So with the emergency credit, you can set it to zero. The only thing is you have to um, go all the way up to 99 and then press it once more to get it down to zero. So this will apply for both the pound and the pence side. We'll just skip past that for now. So that's set to one pound. Emergency credit available, 50p, which means that 50p has already be, been used on this meter at the moment. I'll just skip past that one as well. One, two, three, let go. So rate one is currently set at 15 pound, which is obviously very cheap for today's um, prices, energy prices. So say for example, we wanted to set it to 30 pence per unit. We use the green button to change this digit here. Keep pressing, oh, so it just goes up. So you just keep pressing it till it goes up to 30. So that'll be 30 pence per unit. And then we're gonna press and hold the red button to save. And that's set, rate one cost. Rate two, we'll set it to 30 as well. So the meter is set to economy seven as standard as a rate. So this means that rate one will start from 7 a.m. until 12 a.m. midnight. And rate two will be from 12 a.m. midnight to 7 a.m. in the morning. So um, yeah, we've set rate one. Rate two, we're gonna set it the same on this occasion. But if you wanna say it differently, that's up to you, depending on, again, your what you're being charged by your energy provider. Realistically, you should have that in line um, to be fully legal when you're doing prepayment metering. Standing charge, so this is a charge that will come off the uh, meter once a day. So let's say we wanna have a standing charge of 20 pence. So I've used the green button to increase the number just by tapping it, and then I'm gonna use the red button now to save that, press and hold for three seconds. 
So this meter is uh, optional mode. This meter is set in meter mode, which is prepayment. Which is used for if you're using the meter to rent out a property or to rent an annex, for example, or a caravan. And um, this will mean that the credit will come off of the meter as of when it's used. And um, the tenant will be paying for exactly the amount of electricity that they are using. If you wanted to change it to timer mode, press the green button and it'll go over to timer. Timer is used for if you're using a washing machine, dryer, for example, in a communal space or possibly floodlights for an area um, such as a football pitch or hall stables. Whereas, as we mentioned in timer mode, this goes on time. So once you put the coins in, the time will start counting down and it will just supply electricity accordingly. So we'll keep it in meter mode for now. Press and hold three times to go to the next setting. Factory default, so that's just to reset it to factory settings. Obviously, you can press the bring up green button to go on to yes, or you can press and hold the red button to say no. You don't want to do that. Exit in programming, so that's done. That's all programmed. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please like and subscribe for more content like this, and drop comments below of any questions that you may have that you feel like we didn't cover. We can reply to you on there or get in touch at sales at jsgsolutions.co.uk or phone on 01268 773 766.